we're trying to make our noise felt, we're trying to be seen, we're trying to be recognized, but I think the playing field needs to be equalized. And I think we'll get there. Pre-pandemic, yes, not, not a lot of people were paying attention to streaming platforms. Yeah. Uh, because I remember even when Forensic released, um, mm. there were a group of, uh, yeah, there was, a, there was a, just, just uh, in fact, just before the pandemic was when Forensic released. As a South Indian actor, I would say this is a fantastic change and whoever's getting opportunity from the South in Bollywood as well as to do crossover, like pan, pan Indian, pan world, sort of like international films, mm. We are in a very, very interesting phase as far as the um, Indian film industry is concerned. I, I spoke to DSP yesterday mm. and we were speaking about the songs of Pushpa and like how it has literally, uh, literally, literally become Pan-India and uh, yeah. being loved not only in India but various parts of the world and football matches and <laughs> So, uh, and you know, all sorts of debates, they're going about the languages and uh, um, South films and the uh, box office and what is better, what is not. Um, how do you how do you look at this this entire, in a way I would say synergy in a positive way because in, in the pandemic what happened was that uh, a lot of these this content was coming on on OTT and I personally have never interacted with so much with, with South stars the way we did in the in, in the pandemic zone. Yeah. So and yes. it's it's being watched by people all across the country and and, yes. and, the, and the world. Minal Murali becomes Correct. like a trending film in various yeah. parts of the world as yeah. well. So I mean, look at the thanks synergy. Thanks to Netflix also for Jay, that, right? Jay. Like, um, yeah. I mean, pre-pandemic, yes, not, not a lot of people were paying attention to streaming platforms. Yeah. Uh, because I remember even when Forensic released, um, mm. there were a group of, uh, yeah, there was a, there was a, just, just, uh, in fact, just before the pandemic was when Forensic released. And um, there was a group of um, white people who were in the theatre, who came to the theatre just because they liked the trailer of Forensic. And that was not because they saw anything of Minal Murli or Tovino's any work before that, right? So this was before that streaming boom. Um, but we saw how very little, you know, that film had reached. Could have gone, you know, we could have had a Forensic could have been released on Netflix um, if it was. And I think it would have been widely accepted and more, more it would have reached many more people. But what happened after that during COVID is that a lot of our content started getting, you know, more visibility, not just in our place, globally. Um, there's more, people just want to see good content regardless of, you know, whether it's in what language it's made and they don't want, it's not star driven either. And I think this is just a fantastic change. It's something that we've always needed. Actors who were uh, probably, I would say, out of job now and are phenomenal actors sitting at home, they're all getting you know, a new life. In fact, stars also, I'm sure, have realized that it's not what, you know, that's not what really matters anymore. What matters is uh, good performances and people are willing to accept us, you know, if we choose the right subject. And But it's, it's you know, let's be fair, there is still a lot of uh, content that's not getting visibility. Mm -hmm. And um, now amongst streaming platforms, there's competition, right. right? Where producers are like, oh, I have to sell it for cheaper to a streaming platform or they all want to get the Netflixes and Amazons and all that, right? So if they don't get it, then they have to go to other platforms. But regardless, what is interesting is we're getting more visibility than we did. We, we, we're getting more acceptance. We're being uh, noted, especially South Indian stars are getting, uh, South Indian actors, uh, both male and female, we're all getting accepted and um, they know that we exist. We're not that lot, you know, who only did uh, South films. Um, so that is, as a South Indian actor, I would say this is a fantastic change and whoever is getting opportunity from the South in Bollywood as well as to do crossover like pan, pan Indian, pan world sort of like international films. Mm -hmm. I'm just so happy for all of us in general. Mm -hmm. And it is a change that was, um, I, I'm, I'm, COVID was a blessing in disguise. Mm -hmm. If you look at, of course, there's a lot that has happened during COVID and we lost a lot of lives, but regardless, um, the change that we're going through right now is, I think, is here to stay. And people are people have the freedom to watch um, what they want, where they want now, exactly. um, and when they want. And exactly. When, when right? They want, yeah. yeah. When they want. So that is giving them. Uh, it is. It is a world of consumerism, right? Um, everyone's trying to sell something, and everyone's trying to consume something, mm. or buy. You know. Um, so you give people the freedom. 
to decide. Just like we give, we have given people the freedom to write comments on a post of us, they have freedom to choose now whom they want, what they want, what they want to follow, how they want to think, what to choose for themselves and whom to, whom to follow to get inspired in their own lives and what to apply. So it's a, it's, I think it's all about choices and people are always going to like um, an option of being able to choose what they like. Absolutely. So, so uh, I was at this function of, of Ramesh Shyam where Prabhas was there and I asked Prabhas about you know, this is a very interesting, interesting change that in a way the, the South industry, the, the sort of respect that they're getting right now and mm -hmm. the sort of acclaim that they're getting. So um, so Prabhas answered but uh, Rasul Pukuti was there mm -hmm. and he, he gave a very interesting perspective and he said that he's an interesting that, uh, person. <laughs> he's a very interesting person and he speaks his yes. mind. Yeah. So he, he gave a very interesting sort of response. He said that uh, South industry has always been very uh, flourishing. They've always had huge openings. Mm -hmm. Like for, for one language to have the sort of sort of numbers that it does, it's it's absolutely brilliant. Mm -hmm. And then even overseas, for example, sort of openings that they tend to have is simply brilliant because the, the, the diaspora of say Canada or say Malayalam, they support it like wholeheartedly. The piracy is under check because of the fan clubs and the fans, they're very dedicated in the mm -hmm. South Indian. South uh, fan, South stars compared to say other other industries, so that's a very interesting perspective that maybe needs to be acknowledged. That uh, maybe it is now that things are being spoken about that much because maybe two three films have sim have come about simultaneously, simultaneously and created yeah. that that that, that dent sort of, in a way. Yeah, yeah. But maybe maybe uh, the the contribution of South industry has to be acknowledged maybe a bit more, even mm -hmm. in terms of tech uh, technology the way they have brought to the table. Oh. I mean, absolutely. I mean, I think national films have always taken its technicians from the south. Some of the yeah. top most uh, names are from the south. Right. And we're very humble about it too. Exactly. <laughs> are we going to cry loud about it and, you know, make our presence felt? No, we've had a change. And like I said, it's happened gradually. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, are people looking back and saying that some of the best um, content is coming from Malayalam, especially Malayalam when it comes to story writing? Of course, of course. People are acknowledging it today. Right. Mm -hmm. So um, now we have the birth of streaming and, you know, uh, we're getting more and more, I think more than any, uh, maybe probably picking up um, actors from any other language. I think more actors are going to come out from Malayalam as well, because mm -hmm. we have always gotten respect. Whenever I have interacted with some uh, a technician or a director or producer in, in Bombay, They've always respected um, how hard we have worked to get where we are. How they also acknowledge the fact that we get very little visibility. Uh, the money is very less, but you make magic with very little money. Why can't we do this in Bombay? They say that. So yeah. being acknowledged itself, you know, is uh, it feels like hearts of mine. Like I'm, I'm very, I'm still very humble and little old fashioned. It fills my heart to just be acknowledged. You know, I'm not gonna. Um, I believe that. If our industry is going to go places and our our actors and everything, you know, all of this is going to get recognized, there, will, there is a time for it and a lot of things need to change. Systemically, it needs to change. Today, we are getting closer to that change and we are being recognized. So let's acknowledge that and, and yeah, independently, our um, industries have survived independently, you know, regardless of whether we have had those kind of um, uh, appreciation from uh, the North, we have independently survived you know, this this far, this long, we've come this far. And now it's time for us to work in tandem or work in a collaborated manner and make, um, and make, make you know, make this industry, unite this industry probably and call it Indian film industry as opposed to just Mollywood, Hollywood, Hollywood and Bollywood, you know. So we're getting to that, we're getting closer to it. But uh, needless to say, we have to be thankful for how we have, um, to our fans especially, who have helped our industry stay intact and not get lost in because Malayalam, Malayalam and Kannada are much smaller industries compared to Tamil and Telugu. Of course. And um, when it comes to storytelling, I would definitely say Malayalam stands on top for me because that is how I kind of forayed into Tamil, Telugu, and again for better scripts and better yeah. female-oriented subjects, I came back into Malayalam. So yeah. it's time for all of us to unite. You know. No, no, absolutely. Writing of. Um Malayalam cinema is, is absolutely brilliant and, and I think the way they treat women as well is, is, is truly remarkable. <coughs> in this film, um, uh, there's so many dialogues, mm -hmm. the way they, they're talking about women I think is, 
it's truly truly remarkable you know when you when you speak about women is i also feel that women of today do we really need special treatment mm -hmm. we don't so when we ask for special treatment as where we divide the gender okay why don't we just um, be equally aggressive equally passionate and be equally recognized and ask for equal demands that's all there is no you know we're not trying to we're not trying to put someone else down so that we can stand up right so um, i think we're um, in our stories we're able to talk about equalization of gender but i think when you say through stories and when you say it in cinema some things might tickle some people the wrong way you know it might seem like we're trying to revolt and we're trying to um rebel to equalize but we i don't it's just that we've been oppressed for so long that we're trying to come out you know and it looks like an explosion of women empowerment right now so we're trying to make our noise felt we're trying to be seen we're trying to be recognized but i think the playing field needs to be equalized and i think we'll get there that's good and uh, when i spoke about the writing part of it um, mm. with regards to say say women um say if we talk about jenny and mana for example um, the entire idea of you know i think the best way of 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 making a point is by by stating facts mm. and when all these facts are coming out during the narrative that every 15 minutes there is a rape or even the national human rights commission for women and uh, when when there's a case which is which is having a lot of media attention so she she speaks about it otherwise she does not maybe so all those things when when they come out as, as far as facts i think they're far more impactful yeah and yes uh, they, they that's what the story was able to do a little differently is what i believe because right. when i watched the film as a whole that's what i felt um mm. you're trying to address the issue but also trying to approach it in a you know trying to navigate the people's mind to um actually question what they're blindly believing right no i, right? I, I saw this movie uh, to tobino's movie recent narada uh. and there as well i think there 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 is that film yet no not, i think it's I brilliant yeah, so it's good. Yeah. even there uh, because it has that that element of um the women and women as well and mm. they are uh, they are wrong and there as well the way they come up with the facts and all those things yeah. I, think, I think it creates an impact